What is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in my car today. So what are we doing today? So we did a bunch of landscaping and we need some pavers, like some stepping stones. And so my original idea was I was gonna make some out of clay. Like I was gonna make an inch thick or like inch and a half thick pavers that were like stepping stones. And I still might do that because I think it's a cool idea. But then Nicole, this girl that's been, it's interning for me this summer. So she's helping me out in the studio. She's doing some graphic design stuff for John the Potter. Stop moving camera. She had this idea to make concrete pavers with broken pottery, like pieces of broken pottery put in it, kind of like a mosaic. And I have a ton of those broken glass coasters. So if you remember that video, the broken glass coasters, they have a high breakage rate. So, and they're just cool looking. So we're gonna get broken glass coasters, put them into the concrete, slabs and then make concrete pavers. So I think this could be one of the coolest projects to do with a ton of broken pottery, but I don't know yet. So we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna bring you along with me. So first we gotta go to the hardware store and get some cement. We gotta go to Mocha Monkey and grab all the broken pottery. Let's do it. Guess what I'm doing? Cleaning the basement? No. Oh, getting rid of those broken pottery pieces? Mm, kind of. Gonna melt it into something. Kind of. Putting it into a walkway. God, you're so smart. How'd you know that? <laughs> Thank you. Lucky guess. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like something you'd do. Yeah. How did you know I was gonna do that? It's actually Nicole's idea. All right, we got our concrete. We got our tiles, our broken pottery that we're gonna put in there. Now we just gotta do the rest of the whole thing. Boom, all right guys, we are we are at the studio. We got our, got our broken glass in there. And then we got our concrete in there. And Nicole's helping me right now and she's in there taping up boxes. So we're gonna pour the, get the concrete ready. Pour it into the box, which is gonna be the mold. And we're gonna press the pieces of pottery into it. And I have no idea if it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. How's that going? Pretty okay, I think. <laughs> How do you feel about being in a video? Pretty fun. <laughs> Good. Gloves for the glass. We got a hammer to break the glass. We got water to mix with the concrete. We got our mold. And then we're now we're gonna get, I'm gonna get shades for eye protectiveness because everyone on the internet is so always worried about safety. And then we're gonna do this thing.
friends. We got our we got our three pavers all done. They look cool right now. We're gonna wait probably at least three or four days, let them sit out in the sun as much as possible, and then we'll just rip the sides of the box off. See what we got. friends how's it going all right so it's been a couple days now since we did these so I think we did these three days ago but I took this one off yesterday so it only took like two days to dry and it's probably not completely cured but hey I think they turned out pretty dang good what do you think what do you think so this is just from the box the box isn't completely level at the bottom so which I think is totally fine to have this there it'll actually just kind of like keep it solid in the ground even better yeah they turned out super well so we're gonna get these out so I'm just gonna unpack these right now I'll show you where we're gonna put them and I'm thinking well what we were our thought was is Nicole who's helping me with this project is we might actually like pour some epoxy into like each where each thing is because that would do a couple things. A, it would just like seal it so that the glass isn't like, it's not sharp like from what I'm telling, but just for total safety to just make it a little safer. Um, it would also make sure that the pieces stay. And I think it would like just look really good to have a little like layer of epoxy on top. We might do that, I'm not really sure yet. But for now, we're just gonna unwrap these and see how it goes. Let's do it. Everything that I read and like on the package says to kind of wait like five, six days before you walk on it. So they feel really dry and hard and totally secure. Um, but I think I am just gonna wait like a couple days before I step on them. Um, so basically this is like the garden out front of the new studio that we created. And these pavers are kind of like the, one of the final pieces. So what I'll do is I'll sink them in the ground a little bit. So I'll just dig out a little bit, sink them, probably put some leveling sand underneath them to make sure they're level or just to level them. And then we'll get mulch in here and then the mulch will just come up. Like maybe I'll let them stick up like a little bit. After I put a little bit of epoxy in is what I'm thinking. You wouldn't have to do that, especially if your pieces are really smooth and like don't have any glass or edges or anything, then you certainly wouldn't need to put epoxy. I just have some epoxy, so I'm thinking I might do that. This is like a super cool way to reuse some of your broken pottery. Like all those pieces that don't come out right and you know, whatever, like use them as little mosaics and pavers. This whole project so far has cost us a grand total of $4. That is right, people, $4 to create three beautiful pavers. So I'm thinking we'll do two more over on this side and then I have another idea to make actually clay ones that are ceramic, or ceramic pavers that I'll glaze and stuff, so we're gonna do that on this side. So, I think that's all. Comment below with any questions. I might take my, my diamond bit, uh, or my diamond grinding pads from Diamond Core Tools and run these over the top just to make sure they're smooth, but it's not, it's really not bad. It's pretty, pretty good. So, shout out to my intern, Nicole, this summer for the great idea, and uh, yeah. Comment below with any other suggestions. What do you do with all your broken pots? All right, that's it for this video. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, side note. We're at, this is gonna be at the end of this video. You see this board right here, story time. So there is a YouTuber, his name is David O.C. David O'Queef is his name. He's a wakeboarder. I love wakeboarding, obviously. I started following him when he had five or 6,000 subscribers and he's all the way up to like almost 50,000. He's 
an awesome YouTuber, great wakeboarder, go check out his channel. But this is his board. So O'Brien made like a limited edition board for him and I bought it. So this is his board right here. And I've been riding it now because I broke my other board. Okay, I'm just gonna stop for this really quick. So what I need you to do, if you're a huge John the Potter fan, I need you to go over to David channel so his name is David O'Queef I'll link his channel in the description of this video and I'll link it right here right now so if you go over to his channel and just comment on any one of his videos like say go ride with John the Potter that's what I need you to do so if you go over comment on his video go ride with John the Potter because I really want him to come to Minnesota and go wakeboarding with us and we'll make a collab video about YouTube and because he really inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. Like I obviously, I love wakeboarding, but I'm, I'm not as good at wakeboarding as David is. And pottery was the right topic for me to talk about, about my life. You know, I, I even though I love wakeboarding and I love to vlog about wakeboarding, um, I can actually teach pottery much better than I could teach wakeboarding. But it'd be super fun to have David come to Minnesota and we'd ride together and make some collab videos. So if you want to help me out, help John the Potter out, go over to David's channel, David OC. Just comment on a video, go ride. Go ride in Minnesota with John the Potter. John the Potter wants you to come ride with him. All right, thanks guys, appreciate it. See you in the next one.